we set up those things. Like the, our numerical system is designed but, to not end. But math designed when it doesn't. We we it didn't design we system. we didn't we didn't create the rules to math. We found yes, the we rules did. to math. No, no we, we found the rules to math. The rules of math decide they explain the laws of physics. The things that can't change or do change over time, it, it's all explained by math. That's yeah, that's how all that's how all these scientific made. ideas. No, but, yeah, but it's all we made. What we make is our way of understanding it. It's yeah. just an understanding of something that's actually happening. So if you imagine, so if you imagine, we're all on a board game, right? Game of life. We talked about that earlier, and we're all players. And say one of the rules of the game was that you know gravity was a thing. The speed of light is a constant. Um, the sun goes up, the sun goes down, or at least the earth rotates. Um, you know, there's meteors that fly. Everything's dependent by, upon gravity. Just the laws of physics. Those are the rules. Those are the rules of the game. Now, what the players are allowed to do is they come into the game not knowing what the rules are. But you give them the ability to learn what the rules are so what they do is they come up with ways to understand the rules the rules have already been set by who knows what whatever the game creator is the rules were set by the game creator now the players again with the ability to learn need to find out how those rules work and so that's that's what I'm saying about math so math is our way of finding out how those rules work we made them up we made yeah. we said this is one you know this is one phone but that's just a word we made to make sense of it i mean it's it's an idea that is persistent whether or not a human being was there to understand it and well, think about well, it i mean things like that i would say it has to do with our own human experience and our own perspective I'm not to, if, if anything, it's just expanding on that idea that you just said. I'm not disagreeing with like the you know the creator who gave you X, Y, and Z rules that you live by, but that doesn't mean that we couldn't theoretically have been lived by different rules where math would be set up differently. So that's why I want like how would math up, be would how would math be set up differently? Well, we can't know because we don't have that perspective. Like what I always think of is we're carbon-based life forms, so the way what we know organic chemistry is based off carbon-based life forms, but there might be a planet out there where they're based off Einstein and the way they understand the way they do everything might be completely different and it's on, on a perspective we can't even fathom or understand because it doesn't make sense to us because it's in a world that's based off different metrics than what we're based off of and so like math is it's a construct in our own environment but it and it totally makes sense because of everything that we both all equally experience but if you somehow experience things differently and live in a different environment with all different things then that same idea of math might not make sense in that environment. So, so you're saying, <clears throat> I mean, I 100% agree with you. <laughs> I've thought about this quite a bit. So, you know, we say the earth is ours and we understand it, but we really don't. The only reason why the earth is ours is because we were born on earth and we've yeah. learned about earth. If you were born on Venus, that would be normal. You would say you, you, you own Venus, you know. People belong to Venus. We know it. We understand it. But we were born on Earth. And so that's why we understand Earth. We don't know any of the other planets as well as we know this one. So I understand what you're saying. And what's also interesting is because I can't, I really can't technically prove you. I, I can't prove what you said wrong. I can't say it's wrong because we haven't gone to other worlds and experienced all that stuff. Yeah. Right. We haven't, we haven't um, gone out there. Um, which actually leads into the whole point of why I say people should be more collaborative so we can go out there and learn more stuff. So we can learn these things. These are the questions. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is why people need to understand each other more and understand that only positive thoughts and positive interactions beget positive outcomes and negative reactions only ever lead to negative in one way or another. Negative leads to negative. So, um, you know, that's kind of, that, so I'm happy. That's why we have this conversation. Um, I mean, that's, that's it, man. That's it. That's why collaboration. So, so I can prove you wrong. People need to collaborate so I can prove you wrong, Cedric. <laughs>
<laughs> so that's the whole reason. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't care to be proven wrong. I think it's just funny. No, how I'm, I'm joking around. Because like that, they're probably questions that for me are philosophical in nature that aren't for you. Just the same way. So, I, well, when so, I look at that, so I'm like, like well, like, just, I, like, why would you ever even think that you've reached the end? Uh, is the, the first thing that pops in my head when I think division. That's what I was saying. That's exactly what I was saying. Why would you think you would ever reach the end if you could technically divide it infinitely? Yeah, because you can't. No, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. And yet we cross the end. the end. But, like, technically. Yeah, technically you do. That's exactly what I was saying. No, I said technically you did. So I say that, this, that, that as people, we say that at some point it is negligible. And we assume that you basically made it. Like, at some point after you divide, you just round it. Like, we round. But in from a theoretical standpoint, you never got there. Yep. You never got there. And even, like, in the example, I just think it's weird with running because you would never think about it. Like, yeah, you could, you're, you could totally divide it. But if you were just going to divide in half, you would just go run the other 50. You wouldn't be thinking about trying to divide it in incremental parts to get to, like, one atom away. Like, no, you just run 50 yards. So you're in 50 yards, run 50 yards, done. Not... All right, 25, and then get down to where you're running like 0.1 millimeter. Mm -hmm. No, but see, so that's the thing. I mean, you wouldn't be thinking about when you're running, but the whole point is, is that you can think about it. You, we have the ability to think because all this theoretical stuff. <clears throat> well, first of all, it's again theoretical. I think is the wrong word. It's it's been proven. Things can get infinitely small. I mean, that's a proven thing. And what you said, at some point, it becomes negligible. But my question is, my philosophical question is, when does it become negligible? I mean, what is it that makes a certain point negligible? That's my philosophical question. It's arbitrary. Arbitrary? Yeah, it's just whenever we decide. It's not no, it's not when we decide. Yeah, We're not in control of that. We live in a world that's dictated by math. I mean, we're, we live in a world where things can be quantified and, and dictated by things out of our control. Like, you can't control the speed of light. You can't control, well, I, I'm sure people can create artificial gravity. I'm sure we're, we're leading towards that, um, you know, probably in 10 years, I'm sure, the way everything's progressing. But, but um, you can also chemistry everything. Like you can chemistry everything. You can art everything. All these sciences are just different ways to look at the world and different ways to break things down and different ways that people use to express themselves. Math is no different than art and is no different than science and is no different than engineering. It's all different <laughs> ways that people use their brain to modify the world in front of them and I, to look at things. I mean, I think the art, big I math, I think the big difference in our understanding is that. When you describe it, you, you say that we can control it. My understanding is we are not in control of math. We are not in control of science. Art is most certainly different than science and well, math. But yeah, well, we are. There's like genuine. There's like general principles that we have decided on as a people. Like this is art. That numbers go on forever because they do, and we decided that. No, we didn't decide that. We it's found true. that out. We found it out. That's nothing. To decide on something, you have to be in control of it. We're not in control we of math. We're not in control no, no, of but math. There's a history of math. Like there were mathematics that did have cap numbers. There were mathematics that did have more limitations, and that did actually like we. Like you just go through history. Like, there's a history of math. Obviously, there's a bunch of math breakthroughs and things that we found out to figure out new things and relationships because really just math is looking at different relationships but from a numerical standpoint yeah um well so what what aspect so of math are you in control these relationships of? in our world the way we understand it but what what can what are you in control of in math well we aren't in control, in control of anything because these principles have been around for like a thousand years so everybody does it but we as a society they don't decide well, so, uh, some some of the points i mean obviously it's our own system of relating things but we could make math into something else and relate different things to other things obviously there's so thousands of years of framework so i can't even envision what that would well, be so but there could be one so what i would say to that is i would say it's much longer than a thousand years i would say when did the universe get born i would say that's when it was set into place um i would say we just found it out now 
Uh, we just found it out over a thousand years. It's it's a simple. It, it's uh, simple. It's I think it's a difference between us fi- of finding something out versus deciding something. You can only decide something you are in control of. The laws of physics are things we are not in control of. However, so I guess you can manipulate so them. When I say like decided, we decided that one is one and two is two. But things like the Pythagorean theorem and how triangles relate to each other. Yeah, that's a whole difference of angle, which is also partially too. Like we kind of designed some of that too, but uh, we didn't design yeah, it. That's relationship. We didn't design any of it. It's just something he found. Well, well, I mean, the angles and some of that stuff we defined, but I mean, the relationship between triangles is true. Like that's just we the way can give them values right. in units, and we can give yeah. them a name, but we can't create math. You can't make it up. It's impossible. It's like People trying to did. make a new color. It's People like trying did. to make a new color. You can't think of a new color because we have the whole spectrum. And you, you can't can. think of a new one. That's what people How? do. There, there was a time before division. There was a time before multiplication. Like the reason that Pythagorean theorem is a 